You. You're in charge. You. The other guy over there is in charge. You be good. Keep the windows clean and, uh... Hope and pray I come back. Alright, Apollo. I'm ready. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Let's go. Good. Let's begin the hunt. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species. But don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. Start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a secret Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Add to the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Apollo nods at me. For the first time, I sense respect in their gesture. The approximate coordinates for the hidden facility are logged to my starship navigation computer. Alright, lay it on me. Grass is quite green over here. There's the facility. So far they're calm, because I'm calm. Oh, there's quite a bit of sentinel activity here. Well... Wise me says, bomb the heck. I got a plane. Done a bad. Oh dear, oh dear, 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 dear. Ah. I don't like you, you look extra special. Ow. Yee oh, shoot, you follow pretty well. This gun sucks from a distance. Well, at least I got rid of the big dude. Hi. Just don't mind me. I'm, don't mind me at all. I'm just, just a. Unlocking this door, you see. There we go. Terminal houses an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find few clues for Apollo. Seems the Corvax within left this world many days ago. Apparently recalled on a prior toy. Apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species flotilla. Something has them worried. Alright, let's look around these logs. Do, do, do. This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within these its walls. It appears they... It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. Hello? Ooh, video feeds! One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There's something in here with me. Um, I best I back away then. I back away, but as I do, the creature follows me. It emerges near the terminal. It's a small, hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner. Vestiges of food upon a small dish. Even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. 
The scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. <sighs> Poor thing. As the creature looks mournfully up at me, I fire a single charge at my multi-tool. It shivers no more. Its suffering is at his end. I move on from the factory complex. To buy time to escape? Well, by the looks of it, they lost sight of me, so... I think I'm fine there. I'm just gonna sit here. While they're busy, uh... Dealing with things. All right. Ooh, excuse me. Good work. You're talking about factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? Nope. Just kill the creature. No matter. We have what we need. The recorded countless signal flares when the sentinels started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. I'll attune your scan to the central energy signals. We shall soon have our parade. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. This dude is so badass. Nada! Good news! Well, news. What new knowledge, Traveler? Is Apollo Entity known to you? Well, he has this whole plan of tracking down Sentinels and their uh, activity. Apparently they might be using the same portal that uh, Artemis used. A Traveler Entity that is not known to Nada. Yet they know Artemis Entity, who themselves no longer recalls Nada. You bring news that alarms Nada. What else does our home fail to see? Nada looks troubled. They retreat into themselves. What do you think I should do? Paula friend has kept us safe. Nada's characters has been Nada's, and Nada's only, for many years. Outside the cycle of data, we help others escape, those who might process our reality. Nada has peace here. Those who hunt us cannot see us. Nana does not want it to end. But better to understand, to know what comes for us. Do not stop on your account. Oh my gosh, they're in my swamp moon. No. Whoa, that looks peculiar. Whoa. These are ancient ruins. Incredible. It's beautiful. Guess it was a good idea for me to build something here. This looks promising. Yep. I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of sentinels, perhaps. Some gateway through which I'll find Artemis. But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story. A vision. It's already burning itself into my eyes. The, the Traveler Arrival. arrival. The Traveler awoke beneath the shadow of a red star. Through lonely cosmos they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gek, no Viking, no Corvax could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal, though they did not know how to step through. They did not know the secret language, the glyphs, they did not yet grasp the price of the final truth. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. 
I see glyphs in my mind. Part of the code, I need to activate a portal. As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. Uh, to the caves! See, it's an ancient ruin, but what's with the ball? What am I looking at? As I approach the structure, I feel the same burning sensation in my eyes. There's nothing to read, and yet I am more aware of these words than anything I have ever known. The Traveler sin. The Traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of Sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway. Emerging for the face of omnipotence. The traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life. They did not wish to die before they saw them all. And the Atlas answered. Eighteen... That's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of things. More than can be seen in any lifetime. It was impossible to explore the universe before the traveler died. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the glyphs in my mind, another piece of the code. I think of the Atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travels. Yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. Oh my gosh, is Atlas God? Ah, you're closer, thank goodness. Yes, more knowledge! Everything here is tinted with that same red, that same unobservable crimson that fills my visions when I blink. I can only hope this structure holds the final glyphs, that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. Traveler, a purpose. The yeah, yes, this whole traveler, they were the first of their kind, that I want to follow. Each would be endowed with the same old soul. Each is a traveler from planet to planet, planet to planet, and eternal solitude. The first traveler returned to the gift of the ass. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity, you could not see all. If you were alone, you would but one day die. The first traveler cursed the ass. He claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All these worlds, all by myself, it will be the traveler's stupidness. I am filled with the knowledge of the ancient traveler. See the final glyphs in my mind. The final portion of the code. Oh, my brain. I think you pissed off the wrong guy. Although it makes sense if you want to see all the universe and... Well... Mortality. Person couldn't handle it. There it is. Oh my goodness, look at you! First of all, it seems like someone else was here. the 
portal. I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I am making a choice. A leap of faith that somewhere out there in the dark, I will find who I am meant to be. Let's put in these glyphs. I step forward, not knowing what I will find on the other side. But I feel it deep in my heart, the call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. Oh boy. Alright, I'm coming for you, Artemis. I'm still where I am, supposedly. Oh dear. Um, can I get my dude back by plane here? Well, I learned the Atlas word for Atlas. Holy jeez, the man, myth, and legend. I can't believe I just confidently walked over there without even the slightest thought of whether I'll fall or not. So, ooh, what's in here? Ooh, warp cell. Nice. I, ooh, I may have upset you. Uh, sorry about that. Um. Okay. So you are. Atlas, I presume. The text blinks before me. It awaits input. Hello? An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. The audio clicks. Time passes. The voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. It awaits a comment. You're just a computer. With ambitions? You just want to explore? You alright there, bud?
personality. You're just dying. Personality interface. Uh, I don't think you should be, uh, expressing yourself. The interface is still in silent. It awaits a command. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Here's the problem. You know what? No. Not gonna wipe this system. Because obviously, you're an entity that's in charge of the universe here. And, uh, wiping the system might, um... Destroy the universe. It might reset a lot of things. So resetting, would that really help you? Or would that harm you? <sighs> Everyone's been talking dirty about you, man. Like you're you're a bad guy, but I don't I don't think they realize exactly what you are. You're the management of the universe. And you're struggling. The whole system reboot? We put the whole universe, but would I have the same problem happen? Ah, oh, this, this is, this is, this is a problem. Oh, this is a big problem. Ancient tech, lost knowledge, Atlas existing, need diagnostics. You haven't had diagnostics done in many. Years, many years. Wait a minute. Thing of the universe. You're in charge of controlling the universe right now. You're managing the universe. You're struggling. Something made you, but they're no longer here, are they? You're all alone. And you're exploring the universe with travelers. And we go around, we scan, we gather data. You need help. Whoever made you is no longer here anymore. And you need help. So you're Making this universe, exploring the universe, what, like self-reflection to see if you can fix yourself? Is that what I'm getting? Oh, you poor thing. Alright, man. Let's go. I'm gonna try to help you. <laughs> Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul. All of it sp speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all of its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them. But something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... Um, where the heck am I? At 100% charge, 6% required to summon. Oh my gosh, my ship is broken! Oh gosh! 
Damn it, Atlas. You could have at least been more careful with how you handled my stuff. I was all excited to help freaking Atlas over here, but he must have screwed up my ship. Oh my freaking goodness. Hmm. Another iteration. I escaped to my ship. Glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine. Not strong enough to resist, it identified itself as Atlas. The entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the sentinels. Why did I even step through the ga gateway? Why did I follow this path? <laughs> because I can. Well, I went to rescue Artemis. Is that true? Or is it just a lie I tell myself? The kind of thought a noble person might have. Artemis was in need of assistance, but did I really risk my life for just them? Or something more? Some other yearning? As I stare at the console, an opportunity presented itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from a location on this very planet. Hello? You are not alone. Signal appears to be coming from this very system, using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as I have? Well, talk about a loop. Oh, not as gonna go nuts for this. <laughs> oh, he's gonna flip. Nada, you would not believe who I just met. Traveler did you. It has been some time. Paul has missed you. Your journey was longer than you might realize. Portals have much in common with our home. The travel is anonymous. But you are unharmed, yes? You feel complete? You feel not crimson? Yeah, I'm fine. Not as pleased. All portals are strange. But so is our home. Paul is clever. Atlas false entity cannot see us. Paul uses Atlas false entity against themselves. Did I leave Crimson? I mean, I did promise to help the Atlas. Alright, we got an Echo. I am now in the thick of it. So what do you got for me, Atlas? Okay, let me go dump some stuff here. See you. Hard miss. <sighs> I approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis, but there is only silence. A slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. You okay, man? If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu. As if I've been here before, right at this very moment. Where are you, man? As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came, watched closely, machines, murderers, against the... The voice falls silent, the projection looks at me, something is very wrong. I scan the hologram. 
It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I have received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. We're... Cold and... But still so well and... Anonymous. They... Not... Polo. Watching us. Tracking. The state. Abandoned. But it wasn't. The, the portal. Please. Don't, don't trust. I'm afraid. Aren't. Oh dear. Projection fizzles away to mere static. This echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis. A grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. Holy jeez! What am I looking at? Thank you. These are one of the libraries! Or archives! Yeah, I guess. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. I'm gonna do a manual override then. The warning message ceases. Some new frequency shimmers into being. Another robot guy. But he's also kind of cool looking. No. Hello. You are not alone. Tell me. What's the point of living if we know that life will finish? Ah. Already starting off philosophical. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be straight with you, and who are you? You refuse to answer. That's answer enough, I suppose. I know you, Traveler. I know you where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more? After a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? I would prefer to know more. A skeptic? Well... Artemis was already dead. Your journey to save them has failed. What do you have to lose? The blood of Artemis is data. The heart is glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. You require a mind arc. A receptacle for your soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis' frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. Stranger offers me blueprints for something they called the Mind Arc, a device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. Look. Let him go. I refuse, uncertain of the stranger's motives. They tell me to return when I am ready. I see what's going on here. I know exactly what's going on here. It is a classic example of defying a deity. A bit selfish, isn't it? What does Atlas want? What is Atlas trying to do? Iteration after iteration after iteration. 
multiple variations, one of them, one of them has to find the solution to the problem. Many, many, billions upon billions upon trillions of iterations continue that process and you're gonna find one solution. So, fine. Give me the blueprint. I accept, not knowing who this stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures. If they are, but if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, I'll take it. Artemis, how are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? you? Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind dark before I can help him further. Oh my gosh, does no one see? He's glitched out! All of us are digitalized! Look at all this! It is a construction of, an in of, 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 a, of a robot. This, there's a con computer constructing all this. Poor Artemis is just broken and glitched out. Why the construction of all this? I assume the... I don't, I don't know. I don't know why all this is constructed. I don't know why Atlas is making all this. I don't know why... Atlas is creating all these iterations, and I do not know why we have an entire force of us, iterations, fighting Atlas. But I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Oh, I will get to the bottom of it.